guys? Your boy Juan <clears throat> back with another video and we got new wheels. We got an Evo X hood. But I don't know if I'm gonna put that on today. Let's see. And bam. Alright, so we are sitting currently on these wheels. Alright, as you can see, there's a lot of poke. A lot of poke. And you'll see it better right now. Oh, poke. Lots of poke. So what I plan on doing for the front is getting that track camber kind of look. Um, as far as right here, I think I'm going to camber it in. Get this tip inside of the top here. Because, I mean, that's a lot that we still need to go in and I feel like we can still get some more low in. As for the rear, we don't have much to play with on low, I believe, but we're like not even a fingertip to be able to go. So, I mean, if we camber in and at least get this curved side a little bit in, it's probably gonna be like five degrees in or so, five, four or so. Uh, maybe more and uh, maybe lower it a bit and see where we are there because I know uh, The guy who did the fender rolling did pull him a little bit So screw it. Let's go ahead and open up our hood and uh, See how this evil hood looks like screw it So this is the bad boy right here that we're gonna put on obviously a different color but nothing to worry about because We'll be working with a different color eventually down the line. Like I said, it's going to be a project on this car. So let's just continue on with what we have. All right. So luckily the, um, the cover of the Evo hood and the Lancer hood is not on. So it's going to make it a whole lot easier to put that on. And I believe this is actually a stud welded onto the hood. And as far as the Evo hood, you need the bolts that it used to come with so luckily they're right there uh, luckily the guy freaking left them in there if not i would have been in a sticky situation right now and uh yeah would have been a, a lot of work so first things first since we are gonna transfer this over i am gonna remove these two uh bad boys and then i'll put them onto the other one but first i'm gonna put some gloves on because i hate getting my hands dirty all right, so the size is gonna be 12, but a half is gonna work in metric standard, whatever the hell it is. I always get confused with that, but uh, yeah, go ahead and take out all four of them. And like I said, I still need to take that out, so I'll take that out, but save you some time. Half will work and uh, the 12, so just so you know. So I am taking off this hood solo and I have a box in the middle there giving me just enough space to get up in there and remove the two bolts and the other side too. So just in case you are doing this by yourself, put a little box there giving you enough space. You can do anything by yourself. Just improvise. And just like that, I got uh, <clears throat> all of that out. So I'm gonna keep that box there. The hood is really heavy and it is heavier than the Evo X hood, which is probably made out of some other uh, Superman kryptonite light carbon fiber stuff. I don't know, man, but hey, weight reduction, let's go. All right, and just like that, we have our Evo X hood laying on our handy dandy box and we are just going to align here uh, and just push up, start the bolts, push up, and he'll get it going there. All right, let's finish this up. All right, and just like that, we have our Evo X hood on our base Lancer. Um, to be honest, it would look a hundred times better if this hood was white. So um, definitely looking forward to paint matching it or get into what color we want to paint it. Uh, or wrap it, not sure, but it does help it look a hundred times aggressive. 
Just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, just felt like doing a video today. I needed to do something. So went ahead and did this install for the Evo X hood on the base Lancer. Uh, some things that are left, uh, as you can see here, this door messed up. Probably just gonna switch out the door. I know somebody locally who has one. The side skirts, uh, for my base Lancer people that don't have side skirts, I'm gonna go ahead and look for a side skirt um, for from a 26, 2016 uh, Lancer. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it, uh, pull that out and see if it actually fits. You know, it'd be actually pretty cool for all my base Lancer people that uh, want to upgrade to a GTS 2016 bumper or a 2016 side skirt. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for you so you don't have to stress out. Uh, as far as anything else, we still have to dial in our uh, fitment with our wheels and uh, put in our camber arms. So. For the next video i will probably be doing the left front axle on this car because it did uh break the boot i didn't want to switch out the boot just wanted to do the whole axle completely got it from rock auto so let's see what that does for us and as far as the fitment i'll probably do that in a different video so the axle will be a video in itself so stay tuned uh for those of you who are just joining the channel uh thank you for the support Please share and uh, let everybody know that, you know, he's converting a base Lancer into a rally art and it is possible. So please share guys. Thank you for uh, your support lately and uh, just keep on keeping on guys.